Net throw. Net throw can be used to bring opponents in closer and follow up with an MP skill of your choosing. Net throw can also be used to extend combos. On counter hit, net throw can be comboed into as the first attack. Sand Splash Sand Splash is a technique where Brawler kicks the dust off of the ground and the dust becomes a projectile. You may use this to extend combos, and you may also use it to catch people that are rolling and surprise them with an attack. Needle Spin Needle Spin is a technique that has three hits of armor to it. Needle Spin can also be tapped repeatedly to extend the combo. Use Needle Spin to get out of various pressure situations or situations where you normally would have to dodge out of the way. Ground Tackle Ground Tackle is a technique that hits you low multiple times. If the final hit connects, it launches the opponent up into the air for a juggle. Ground Tackle can also hit opponents that have been knocked down onto the ground, which again allows you to start a juggle. Chain Jack Chain Jack is a very far-reaching aerial special technique of Brawlers. It takes a while to activate, but once it does activate, it has a very active hitbox. This technique does not jail, meaning if the opponent blocks the first hit and tries to duck, then they will be hit by the second two hits. Blood Rage Chain Blood Rage Chain is a very far-reaching multi-hitting technique from Brawler. It costs 50 points of mana. It is great for catching opponents that are rolling. And from the second hit forwards, it also picks opponents up off of the ground. It's great for both extending combos and ending combos because it ends in a hard knockdown. Road to Hell Road to Hell is a projectile technique that Brawler can use for 90 points of mana. He sends three barrels at the opponent, and if you attack one of these barrels with any one of your techniques on an opponent that isn't guarding, then it will inflict the incinerate status on them. The barrels can also be used to hit opponents that are on the ground and create pressure. Cave-In Cave-In is a technique of brawlers that uses 70 MP. It has three hits of armor and hits you up to three times. It hits you once with a chain and summons two boulders to hit you in the sky. This ability can also hit you while you're on the ground. The unique property of the armor of Cave-In is different from Needle Spin. Needle Spin takes time to activate its armor, whereas Cave-In's armor is instant. Because of the angle of the attack and its armor properties, Cave-In is excellent as an anti-air. Explosive Hook Explosive Hook is Brawler's DP. It grants invulnerability and costs 70 points of mana. 
It is also an attack grab that inflicts incinerate on the opponent once completed. Venom Mine. Venom Mine is an aerial MP skill that uses 60 MP points. It briefly inflicts the poison status upon hit and can be cancelled into itself or any other normal in midair. Brawler is very unique in the fact that he has two different damage over time debuffs that he can inflict on the opponent at one given time. He can use poison, which is slower, more damaging, and lasts longer, or he can use the incinerate status, which isn't as fast or as powerful as poison, but when combined with one another, they can do a lot of damage. Picaresque. Brawler's clear cube enables him to do more guard stamina damage while receiving less on his own. It recovers MP much quicker than normal and also increases his defense so he doesn't lose as much health. And finally, we have Rule Break. Rule Break increases the attack power of Brawler while enabling him to chain his MP skills into other MP skills. This is useful for getting an extra amount of damage and maximizing the potential of Brawler. Brawler is a very versatile character with range, set play, and moves that do damage over time. Use Road to Hell in order to pressure the opponent and use Needle Spin in order to gain armor and attack at the same time. This concludes my Guilty Gear Strive style breakdown of Brawler. If you want more of these for more characters let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to try and make one for any other character that you guys want. But for now, I'll see you guys later. By the way, if you want the latest DNF news on tournaments and news from DNF itself, join the DNF network on Discord and also join the DNF community on Twitter. The link will be in the description.